Good morning, you're watching the Australian Share Market Outlook on Tuesday the 22nd of April. I'm Lelda Smith for the Finance News Network. Returning from a four-day Easter break, the Australian share market looks to lift after Wall Street rose overnight. US stocks edged higher in light trade on Monday as investors stayed optimistic ahead of a week of corporate earnings releases. Closer to home trading volumes are also likely to stay in holiday mode over the three trading days this week before the Anzac Day public holiday on Friday. On the local economic front, the highlight of the week will be Wednesday's inflation update for clues as to the Reserve Bank of Australia's next move. Analysts expect consumer prices to affirm 0.8% of the March quarter for an annual inflation rate above 3%. Now across global markets, after gaining more than 2% over last week, Wall Street continued to rise on Monday. The Dow Jones Industrial Average gained 41 points to close at 16,449. The S&P 500 gained 7 points to close at 1,872. And the Nasdaq gained 26 points to close at 4,122. Most European markets remained closed for the Easter break, but ahead of the holiday moved slightly higher as well-received Chinese growth figures offset concerns over tensions between Ukraine and Russia. On Thursday, London's FTSE 100 index added 41 points, France's CAC 40 added 26 and Germany's DAX added 92. Asian markets rose over last week, buoyed by upbeat US economic and earnings reports and speculation China may implement measures to stimulate its economy. But on Monday, Japan's Nikkei lost four points, China's Shanghai Composite fell 32 and Hong Kong's Hang Seng stayed close. The Australian share market gained ground over the four trading days last week. The S&P ASX 200 index rose 34 points on Thursday extending the weekly gain of 26 points to finish the week at 5,454. And on the futures market, the SPY is currently 11 points higher. Now moving to currencies, following a flat performance over last week, the Australian dollar at 7.20 a.m. this morning was buying 93.29 US cents, 55.57 pence sterling, 95.74 yen and 67.65 euro cents. Now making company news among the financials, Commonwealth Bank has upwardly revised its forecast for the Australian dollar and sees it heading toward parity with the greenback by next year. The bank predicts the Australian dollar will reach 97 US cents by the end of this year, compared to an earlier forecast for it to fall to 84 US cents. By March next year, CBA expects the local currency to buy 99 US cents, compared to an earlier forecast of 85 US cents. The bank says it does not expect the US dollar to significantly strengthen until the real Fed funds rate turns positive in early 2016. Shares in Commonwealth Bank gained 0.54% on Thursday to end the shortened week at $77.57. Customer satisfaction at National Australia Bank remains below its rivals, according to the latest survey from DBM Consultants Business Financial Services Monitor. The market research firm reports NAB's average customer satisfaction rating came in at 7 out of 10 in March, down from a rating of 7.4 achieved by ANZ, Westpac and CBA. NAB's steady result from the prior month comes after it was the only bank to improve its rating in February. Shares in National Australia Bank gained 0.51% on Thursday to end the shortened week at $35.36. Finally, a wrap of commodity movements. The price of gold lost almost $19 over last week and has continued to fall to $1,288 US dollars and 50 cents an ounce for the June contract on COMEX. Silver has dropped 24 cents to $19.35 for May. Copper has lost 0.2 cents to $3.04 a pound. The price of oil has risen 7 cents to 104 US dollars and 37 cents a barrel for May light crude in New York. Thank you for watching the Australian Share Market Outlook on Tuesday the 22nd of April. I'm Lelda Smits for the Finance News Network. Have a lovely day.